Today, we're going to talk about how to lose weight in the long term without a diet. Here I go. Hello, buddy. things I've seen here yet. Hello, my name is Grant and I'm trying to live forever and I'm hoping that you can do the same thing too. Today we're going to talk about in about the most productive way to lose weight and maintain the weight without going on a diet. I think diet is a four little word. I think it's the worst thing in the whole world um, because it's it's just short term you go down a couple and you're so depleted that you binge and then you yo, 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 right and right back. It just sucks. Dieting is not the way to go. That is not, if you need to lose five pounds to get into a bathing suit, fine. Do a diet for a week. But if you want to maintain your weight loss and stay healthy for long term, there are some things you're going to have to do. First thing is you're going to have to be honest. You're going to have to be honest with yourself. You're going to have to know exactly what you're putting in your system every day, which means you need to write it down. I mean, track every last calorie for a week. Okay. Every last calorie for a week. Okay. The next thing is, is that you need to start meal prepping. And what I mean by meal prepping is I mean, you need to start making your lunches. No more drive through. Okay. We'll get back to that, but no more drive through For the first couple of weeks, it's going to be just meal prepping. Meal prep whatever you want. Meal prep the amounts that you want. But take it with you and you make your own food. Okay? Make your own food. Go two weeks. Don't get on the scale. Go two weeks making your own food. All right? Then... And know what you're eating. Know how much it weighs. Know what, what you put into it. Then you're going to change by 300 calories a day. That's it. 300 calories a day. And you're going to do that same thing for two weeks. Same meal prepping. Same foods. Same everything. But you're going to take 300 calories out. And you're going to do that for three months. Two weeks, 300 calories. Two weeks, another 300 calories. Two weeks, another 300 calories. Two weeks, another 300 calories. And you're just going to re slowly reduce your food down. You can do 200 calories. You can do 300, 200, whatever it is. I would say for a dude, 300 calories. For a woman, 200 calories. But you have to maintain your prep. You have to maintain and know that you're, you're removing just a little bit. Because... When you're used to eating four, five, six thousand calories a day and you go down to a twelve hundred dollar twelve hundred calorie diet, you're gonna binge. Your system is gonna react to that and go, Hey, where's this food we're used to? Where's this food? We're not used to this. We need some food. And you you get them cravings and you wake up in the middle of the night and you hit the fridge and you've blown it. Okay, this is a sustainable, this is what worked for me, and this can work for you. When I started the meal prep, I was using Tupperware that held six to eight cups. Okay, and I was eating as much as I could of that, as much as I could get in. I was eating, but, but I was not eating out. I was eating prepared foods that I knew what was in it. The drive through will kill you. The drive through will put it on faster than anything else there is. Take your food with you. Okay. And then use the stair step. And it's just a simple stair step. You're just, every two weeks, you're just reducing the calories a little bit. A little bit. 300 for dudes, 200 for women. A small amount. Okay, your system, if you don't take in 
200 or 300 calories a day, your system doesn't really notice that as much. It doesn't react to that. You don't have your brain turning chemicals on saying, hey, 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 where's the food? Okay, and then if you do it for two weeks, your system gets a new norm. And then you do another small increase, small amount. And within a year, within a year, you're going to be down to very small amounts. Your system is going to be used to it, working normally on it. You're not going to have the super cravings and binging going on. And then you've, you've, made, the, you've made the progress you want. Then you've fixed yourself or maintain the weight loss that you've acquired. And that's setting the norm. That's setting what your body is used to. And it's just a stair step. It's all it is. Just little small increments after a couple of weeks so that your system doesn't freak out and that you don't drop off of it. And that can be long-term maintained. I've been doing it for four years now. Four years. and But every meal that I make is weighed. And I know how much I'm eating. And I've tightened up a little bit again myself now. And it's working. I am dropping weight again. Without my system. Without me going, oh my God, I just, I can't believe I want a donut. No. I'm not having that. Because I'm doing small increments. Okay. And it the whole thing of this is is that this is a marathon not a sprint this is long term lifelong you have to deal with this the rest of your life the gastro bypass gets it off of you but then you have to maintain from that point on and maintenance is really easy to do you just have to get in the habit you just have to get in the flow of it you just try it. This is not a diet. Four little word. This is a meal plan. It's a plan or a process. I don't know if you guys ever want to use the D word again. The D word just is terrible. Okay. So like I said, start with what you have. Write it all down. Reduce a little bit every two weeks. Reduce and take your food with you. Meal prep. Quit going out. Now. I will remind one thing, me and Miss Christina, we still go out and we still have meals out at restaurants, but we have it once a week. It keeps you sane. I, I'm a proponent of once a week going out and just having whatever you want. Whatever your heart desires, when you first get to surgeries, you're not going to be able to eat much, but you can have whatever you want. And it might make you dump. But right now, like last weekend, we went out and had uh, pizza and a beer. But that was our one, and that keeps us sane, and that keeps us on our meal plan. And I'm not craving anything, and I'm losing weight again. So, small steps. So, I hope this helps. I'm proud of all of you, and I know all of you can do it. So, you all have a great day, because great day today. Could mean a better day tomorrow. Y'all be good.